Hi there, I'm Craig Muirhead from pipingclub.com and today we're going to learn a traditional Irish jig called Rocking the Baby on the chanter with a view to then moving that onto the bagpipes. Um, I'd just like to thank my employer, Strad Allen School, for supporting me in putting these free videos online throughout the pandemic. Um, and if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel or like the video or even head over to pipingclub.com, if you go to the Already Play section, you'll be able to find the music for this uh, little jig uh, as a PDF, which you can download from the website. So let's get started. It's a two-parted tune. It's nice and easy, as long as you know G grace notes, D grace notes, E grace notes, um, some strikes and the biddle, then you're pretty much good to go with this one. We're going to do what I usually do and break it down into two bars at a time. Um, and as with any jig, you know, the, the groupings are of, of three notes, traditionally. So, starting off with the first few bars, we're playing a G grace note to C. We're going up to E. We're playing a strike. Then we're playing a G grace note to D. Up to E with a strike. Then we're going back to what we did before at the start of the second bar. G grace note to C, E, strike, and then a G grace note to D, C, and B. So if we take them in their little three note groupings, we're going to play G grace note to C, E, strike, like this. We'll do that once more. The next three groupings. It's a G grace to the D, E, strike. Then on to the second bar, it's back to the C, E, strike. Then it's a G grace note to D, C, and B. Now when we practice this, we want to keep it all even. All of these quavers want to be kept even. So if, even if you're playing it really slowly, everything's even throughout the tune. So the first two bars together, nice and slowly. That's the first two bars, we'll do that once more, then we'll move on to the third and fourth bar. <laughs> on to the third and fourth bar now. There are some similarities, as with most pipe tunes, there's a bit of repetition coming in. So we're going to play a G grace note to C, E, strike, G grace note to D, E, strike, and then you're going to play a G, D and E grace note on low A, so three low A's in a row, followed by a G grace note to C, B, and then a strike to low A. So from B, that's just putting both fingers down and lifting the pinky back up. So again, we'll just take them in their little groupings of three notes. G grace note to C, E, strike. Then G grace note to D, E, strike. Now we've got a G, D and E grace note each on low A. And finally, G grace note to C, B, and strike to low A. Now 
We'll do that once more just to get the straight drum. So now if we group those two bars together, so the third and fourth bar of the first line, the Brock and the Baby, from the G grace note to C. We're going to try that once more, grouping the third and fourth bars together. The great news is, now you've seen the next two bars because they're exactly the same as the first and second bar of line one. So on to line two, exactly the same as the start of line one. So we're going to play through it nice and slow, the first two bars of line two. Again, we're just keeping all of those quavers even all the way through. And then on to the, the final two bars on the first part. We're going to play a G grace note to low A, a D grace note to C, a G grace note to B, a D grace note to C again, then G, D and E grace notes on low A and finish with a bit of Again, we'll break that down into little sections. So we're going to play a G grace note to low A and a D grace note to C. Do you want to make that D grace note quite big when you're playing it to C, so it's nice and clean. Now the G grace note to B and another D grace note to C. So pretty much the same idea, but starting on B this time. We then have the G, D and E grace note on low A. And to finish off the part, just a bit of. So those two bars grouped together, starting on the G grace note to low A. So this is the third bar of the second line. Great stuff. We're now going to try the whole first part together. So the first eight bars of the tune, lines one and line two. Okay, so we'll take it that sort of tempo, nice and slow, starting with a G grace note to C. And I'll count as in after four. One, two, three, four. Hope that went well for you, but that's quite a step up from what we did before, so don't worry if it wasn't spot on, just keep, you know, rewinding back and uh, going over it again and again until it fits in properly. So, we're going to try that once more before we move on to the second part. That same tempo, even though it takes a bit of puff to get through it slowly like that, we'll try that again. So, after four. One, two, three... Four.
Good stuff. Good stuff. So remember, when you're working through this, feel free to take videos and pictures and tweet them to me um, at Craig Muirhead on Twitter or send them via Facebook at Craig Muirhead Music. Or if you have any questions, um, get in touch uh, on the email address info at pipingclub.com. You'll also find, if you're looking for new challenges, my collection of music, which is sort of rock and pop songs arranged for the pipes, or my own collection of original compositions that I've written, they're all available on the Piping Club website too. Um, so if you're getting bored and looking for something to do, there's lots on there to keep you busy, uh, which is all piping related. So now we'll look at the second part of Rocking the Baby. Um, like I say, lots of similarities um, in these parts, in these sorts of tunes, especially the traditional ones like this. Um, so we're going to break it down again into two bars and talk through it all, then we'll piece it all together as we've done so far. So we're going to start on E and we go up to high A, down to C, strike, G grace it to E, C, strike, high A, C, strike, and a G grace it to D, a C, and a B. So from the E at the start of the third line of the tune, we'll, we'll take them uh, in their little groups. So we're playing E, high A, C, strike. Okay, let's try that again nice and slowly. Then on to the next three notes, uh, a G grace note to E, another C, and another strike. Now we're back up to high A, then to C, and strike again. And we'll finish off this two bar phrase with a G grace note to D, a C, and a B. So if we group them together from the E at the start of the third line, nice and slow. Very good. And again, from the E. Excellent. Now the third bar of the third line is back to high A, a, a C, Another strike, then a G grace note to E, with a C, and another strike. So that's the same as the first bar of this line, you'll see. And then we have the G, D, and E grace notes on low A. G grace note, D grace note, E grace note. And then a G grace note to C, a B, and a strike to low A. So you might have noticed now that that fourth bar there of the third line is exactly the same as the fourth bar of the first line. So you've played it already, that's why I didn't go over it in too much detail. So we should, theoretically, having played what we've already played, be able to piece these uh, bars three and four of the third line together straight away. So let's try that nice and slowly from the high A at the start of the third bar of the third line. So from high A. We'll go through that another couple of times just to make sure we've got it. So from that high A.
Once more. Now we move on to the last line, the fourth line now, and the first bar of that line is the same as the first bar of the line above. The second bar of that line is exactly the same as the second bar of the line above. So we'll play them together, we won't have to think too much about this from the high A. I'm also pleased to tell you that the third and fourth bar of the fourth line is exactly the same as the third and fourth bar of the second line. So again, we can play that. Once more. So now we're going to play the full second part of the tune, so that's lines 3 and 4, pieced all together nice and slowly as we did with the first part, starting from the E at the start of line 3, nice and slow, after 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll get our breath back and then we'll try that once more at that speed and then we're going to try the whole tune together a little bit up in tempo to see how we get on. Okay, so once more over at the second part, lines three and four, starting from the E, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Before we try the whole thing, the last thing I want to point out to you to make sure you're getting it right, especially in this second part here, is there are potential uh, areas for false fingering. So that would mean, for example, if you were on a C and you were going to an E, but it was quite a quick note you were playing, you might be tempted just to play an E like this. But that's incorrect because you haven't lifted up your pinky. So it's important that even in that second part, even if you're only on the E for a millisecond, it's important that you're getting the pinky up at the bottom whenever you're using the top hand. Okay, good stuff. So we're now going to go a little bit faster, not too much though, and play the tune together. Okay, so it's going to be after four and this sort of tempo we're thinking. So after four, don't worry if you can't keep up with the shit, but come back to it. One, two, three, four.
Well done. That was quite a long blow. When you're playing a fast tune like that, you don't really get the chances to take a breath when you need to. So it's important that you just do that whenever you feel uh, that you have to take a breath. Great stuff. Um, so well done. I hope you enjoyed learning Rocking the Baby, a traditional Irish jig. Remember, keep in touch via social media I mentioned already. Check out pipingclub.com and sign up there for updates on when new videos come up. And it's been great to see you again and hope to see you soon.